Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and reading this video. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how we're going to uh, forward our web based emails such as Hotmail or Gmail to a local based email client and I'm going to use Thunderbird. So first I'm going to download the add-ons for Thunderbird. So go to Webmail Mozilla. Okay, go to Webmail. And we're going to download their add-on. Now right click it and save link as. We're just going to save this onto the desktop. Now, if we want to do Hotmail, we get the Hotmail add-on. Right click, save link as, under the desktop. And I'm also going to do uh, Gmail, but there's Yahoo, there's Gmail, and there's AOL even. So I'm just going to get the Gmail one. Now, I believe there's a built-in, uh, I believe this add-on is almost built-in now, but I'm just going to get it. Now we're going to download Thunderbird. It's not a very big download, under 7 megabytes. Alright, and while that's downloading, I'm going to make myself a Gmail account. You could use Hotmail for this too, but uh, I prefer Gmail. Alright, so if uh, you're not sure how to make it, I just fill out all the information here and uh, make sure you get that capture image right and uh, create your account. The reason I'm scrolling over here is because the mouse does not have a scroll wheel. Very nice, I know. Alright, so just uh, create your account. Alright, and uh, once you're into your Gmail account, uh, you're going to need to set this to forward. Uh, you're not going to have to do it with Hotmail, and I'm not sure about any of the other uh, any other email services. Uh, so actually, now what you need to do is not forward, but uh, for this, enable, pop for all, all mail. Just save your changes. And uh, I think you have to enable IMAP2, I'm not sure, but I am unenabled. Alright. Uh, you can install Thunderbird. It's right here. It's going to extract that. Just run through this. Standard. Installing. Alright, finished. Now, we're going to need to uh, add those add ons that we downloaded earlier. First, add webmail. I'll show you how to add the add ons. Alright, so I don't have any other email clients, so I'm not going to import anything. You might have the option to. Alright, they're going to ask me to create an account. I'm actually not going to do this yet. Okay, what tools? Add-ons. Now, installing these are really easy. Just take your webmail, drag it into the box. Click install. It's installed. Now we're going to do the same for the hotmail. Drag it in. Click install. And the same thing for the Gmail. Drag it in and you click install. Then we will restart Thunderbird. Alright, so now that we have the add ons installed, we're going to create our account. We'll make an email account. Alright, so this is going to be pop and our incoming server. It's going to be pop.gmail.com. I'll have the uh, configuration for adding a Hotmail account in the video description. Alright. Um, incoming username, my username is good. And 
that's good. And let's go there. Alright, now we have to do some editing. So right click here, account or properties. Alright, so for server settings, uh, this port needs to be 995. And this will be SSL, use secure authentication, and in our outgoing server, uh, we're going to uh, edit our local. This is all good here. Um, username, we'll be our email address. And this will be TLS if available. OK. OK. Now all should be good, so we're going to click our account and get mail. Oops. So this doesn't support secure authentication. Oops. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to enter our password here. I'm going to have to remember the password. Yeah, it's okay. And I'm going to do a test now, actually. So I'll send an email to myself. successfully sent. Now this might take a while, but uh, oh, we received test. Alright, so everything looks good here. So, so like I said, I'm going to have the configuration for uh, adding a Hotmail account in the video description, as well as for a Gmail account. So this is just a basic walkthrough. It's setting up your, uh, your mail host to be sent to your uh, email client. If you like this video tutorial, please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.